In radio technology there are two more or less standard frequencies for an IF filter and that's 455 kilohertz or 460 kilohertz and also uh, 10.7 um, megahertz. 10.7 megahertz refers more or less to uh, FM radios and in this video I want to pay some attention to the easiest way to test the 455 kilohertz IF filter. Here you see how to do that. There is a generator that generates frequencies between 450 and 460 kilohertz. That's here. Homebrew. Doesn't look very nice but works very properly. When the green LED is on there is oscillation. Um, and uh, there is a coupling cap or not a coupling cap. You have to decide that for yourself uh, to couple the IF filter loosely to the generator and at the secondary from the generator we connect our scope. Here is the filter under test. This is an IF filter for 455 kilohertz. There are much more filters to show. Here you see a Philips filter, high quality Philips IF filter for 460 kilohertz and here a high quality filter for 10.7 megahertz. The standard um, frequencies and here a whole bunch of IF cans, IF filters that I've bought in the past. Approximately one euro, one dollar for all these filters. Uh, approximately 30 or so, 40. Interesting and um, of course I can use them and test them. Here another filter for 10.7 megacycles. Uh, you can see there is a color code. This is white. White means in general 455 kilohertz and yellow means in general a higher frequency or another frequency. I can't um, sh uh, be very sure about these color codes so you have to test them all uh, individually and that's what I'm doing now. Here is the oscillator, the frequency counter. You can see that I sending now into the IF coil frequency from 477 kilohertz. And when I change here the knob, you can see that there is a substantial other frequency. I send them into that coil. And on the oscilloscope we can see how this filter acts. So how this filter 455 kilohertz acts. How much energy passes through um, the, the coil and um, does the coil really work on its resonance frequency from say uh, 455 kilohertz. Uh, another way to test a 455 kilohertz IF coil is to connect it to an oscillator. There are many oscillator circuits on my YouTube channel from which you can uh, derive a good idea and um, use them in uh, a test circuit for IF coils. But it's now all about this way of testing um, a 455 kilohertz coil. I want to demonstrate it now. I'm, I'm tuning now in to different frequencies around 455 kilohertz with the help of this oscillator 
and we I'm now we are now going to see how that IF coil acts, how good it resonates on 455 kilohertz, the frequency for which it was made. I'm tuning now the, the test oscillator. And you can see that when I uh, deviate from the original frequency from the IF coil, the, the coil damps the frequency and here on this frequency we have the peak resonance from this IF coil. Of course when I tune in now on the IF coil the ferrite core uh, it will differ of course because then the frequency changes somewhat, the resonance frequency frequency changes somewhat. But it's clear to see how the how this coil is tuned to this frequency. And at the moment that is 470 or 480 kilohertz. It has all to, all also to do with the wiring and other capacitive influences around this IF coil. Because for instance the wiring here, the cables, also act as a capacitance that load the primary of the IF coil. But in real, when you mount such a coil in an electronic circuit, uh, the wires are short, etc., etc., and it will really only resonate on the frequency band where it was made for, so 455 kilohertz, with a bandwidth from approximately 7 uh, kilohertz. That's a normal bandwidth from an IF coil. So I hope uh, this is a, a good way to test an IF coil. I've tested many coils in the past by this way. And I wish you luck and success when you want to work on uh, radios, superheterodyne radios.